What is Andalusite? Andalusite is a mineral that is named after the region of Andalusia in Spain, where it was first discovered in 1937. It is an aluminosilicate mineral that is commonly found in metamorphic rocks such as schist and gneiss. Andalusite has a distinct tetragonal crystal structure and is often found in a prismatic or columnar form. The mineral has a hardness of 7.5 on the Mohs scale, which makes it relatively hard and durable. It is also a relatively dense mineral, with a specific gravity of 3.15 to 3.20. Andalusite is typically translucent to opaque and can occur in a range of colors, including brown, green, gray, pink, and white. Andalusite is an important mineral in the study of metamorphic rocks because it is a common index mineral for the metamorphic zone known as the Andalusite Hornfels facies. This facies is characterized by high temperatures and low pressures, and is typically found in contact metamorphic environments where magma intrudes into existing rock formations. Andalusite is also commonly associated with other metamorphic minerals such as kyanite, silimonite, and storolite. In addition to its use as an index mineral for metamorphic studies, andalusite has a number of industrial applications. Its hardness and durability make it useful as an abrasive material, and it is often used in the production of grinding wheels, sandpaper, and other abrasive products. Andalusite is also used as a refractory material, particularly in the production of high-temperature ceramics such as crucibles and furnace linings. Overall, andalusite is an important mineral with a wide range of applications and uses. Its unique crystal structure and physical properties make it a valuable tool for studying metamorphic rocks, and its durability and hardness make it a useful industrial material. How is andalusite formed? Andalusite is a naturally occurring mineral that belongs to the family of aluminum silicates, known as the silimonite group. It is formed through a complex process of metamorphism, which involves the transformation of existing minerals under high temperature and pressure conditions. Andalusite typically occurs in medium to high-grade metamorphic rocks, including schists, gneisses, and granulites, which are formed through regional metamorphism of sedimentary, igneous, or metamorphic rocks. The formation of andalusite begins with the deposition of sedimentary rocks, such as mudstones or shales, which contain clay minerals, such as kaolinite, elite, or smectite. These clay minerals are rich in aluminum and silica, which are the two primary constituents of andalusite. As the sedimentary rocks are buried deeper beneath the Earth's surface, they are subjected to increasing temperature and pressure, causing the clay minerals to undergo metamorphism. During metamorphism, the clay minerals are transformed into new minerals, including andalusite, through a process known as solid-state recrystallization. This process involves the rearrangement of atoms within the mineral structure, resulting in the formation of larger, more complex crystals. As the metamorphism continues, the andalusite crystals grow in size and become more abundant within the rock. Other minerals, such as garnet, storolite, and kyanite, may also form during this process, depending on the specific conditions of temperature and pressure. The formation of andalusite is also influenced by the composition of the original sedimentary rocks, as well as the nature of the metamorphic fluids that circulate through the rock. These fluids can alter the chemical composition of the rock, leading to the formation of new minerals or the transformation of existing minerals. In some cases, andalusite may also be formed through hydrothermal processes, which involve the circulation of hot fluids through fractures or faults in the rock. Overall, the formation of andalusite is a complex process that involves a combination of chemical, physical, and geological factors. Its unique crystal structure and properties make it a valuable mineral in a variety of industrial and technological applications, including refractories, ceramics, and electronics. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.